Greetings ladies and gentlemen. It is Wednesday and that typically means it is disappointment day. We're about to open our PvE and PvP caches and we're kind of ready to be disappointed. But what if I told you there was a way? That's right, science said it couldn't be done. Well, we are here to prove it wrong. I'm gonna show you the right method and the correct techniques that you can use to get a guaranteed gushing wound from one of your boxes. That's right, are they gonna work? I mean, stay tuned and we'll find out together. This is method number one, the way of the gush. All you gotta do is have a gushing wound debuff and you open the box. Watch this. And make sure my loot spec is uh, shadow. Okay. You can use abilities. Just hit me with like stuff. Jab me. Okay, there it is. The gushing wound debuff. And in the name of science, I present to you method number one. Bam! So first of all, you want to use your food buff. This is it. Flask and rune. We're going hammy. And there's the box, okay? We're gonna buff up. <sighs> okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Popping everything! Guardian? Uh, do I have free pot? Oh my god, I didn't pre pot. It's fine. I don't have free pots. I'm too cheap. It didn't work. I call this the way of the future. Alright, guys? What is the next expansion? What is it called? Exactly. Shadowlands. You know what you get in Shadowlands? That's right. Good loot in your boxes. And you know how we can get there faster? By using a DK's advanced mechanics rate walk. Read that ability. Sidestep into the Shadowlands. Removing blah blah. So we're literally in the Shadowlands while we open this box. So in Shadowlands, I have an option of six juicy items. So we're gonna go into Shadowlands right now and open this box. Oh no. I used it. It counts. Wait, does it count? It counts. That's how it works for science. Opening the box. Gosh, wound! No! So this is called the way of the trade, the way of the sacrifice. In life, you can't just get something for free. You gotta give something away so you can get something. <sighs> so on my Demon Hunter, I will trade, in the name of the RNG gods, I will trade the best item I have on my DH, my raw den weapon. Everything else is trash. Look, at, look how bad my gear is. I will trade this item for a better gushing wound. <sighs> I'm actually gonna do it in the name of science. The trade has been completed. And now I expect a return on my investment. What belt do I have? I have crit verse. Okay, my belt is pretty bad. All right. Wait, what's that? Okay, I have bad belts. <sighs> I mean, it's really good for PvE. Uh, I'm not gonna use it in PvP at all. Uh, that's good, right? Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't have a weapon now. Uh, Pog. <laughs> Upgrade, I guess. Woo. Yeah, it's pretty good. It works, I guess. Ladies and gentlemen, we've worked long and hard hours. Blood, sweat, tears, and cum were given for this box. My warlock has not a lot of gear. 
my warlock was boosted hard, hard. Mythic Plus was a big challenge for me, but in the end, I did it. And now, the stars shall align, and Father Blizzard will bestow upon me the gushing wound that I deserve. And this is it, right here, ladies and gentlemen. Hold. Actually, a really good item. <laughs> I, I mean, it's pretty good. For a PvP, that's pretty insane. Ah, uh, yeah. Actually works. Bam. As you might know, whenever you play your main, you always get trash item in your boxes. But when you log over to your alt that you literally just leveled up, you always get the best items. You log in on your low geared low alt trash no this is literally the first mythic plus i did was yesterday no pvp done i mean i did a little bit low item level and we're gonna take that item level even lower okay we have 446 equipped and we are going to we are going to make it way lower all right 401 wow what a bad alt i have oh no i have no gear on this alt Wow, I have no expectations. Wow, what's gonna happen? What kind of items will I get in my box? Wait, evasion the box? What kind of items will I get in my box? Who knows? Wow, I hope I get... I don't even care what I get. You know what? Because I'll be happy with anything. Except this piece of shit. Why do I have to get a trinket, man? What? What is this? I'm not a demon. I don't want this. That's trash. Why don't I get a crop? Actually, a good trinket? Wait, is he getting a good trinket? Is it? Is he good or not? I, 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 don't, I don't play melees. I don't know. Is this good? It's a trinket. So I, it worked. Only PV. Wait, is it worst trinket in the game? That's insane, I think. I'm getting very mixed signals here. Very good for Asa. RNG trinket. Best for PV. Okay, it's good for PV, but it's bad for PvP because it's RNG. Okay. Well, I am very confused about it because I don't plan on playing my rogue, especially not in PvP. In PvE, I mean. Almost at all. So, uh, yeah, trash item, basically. Sick. Nice. Wait! Hold on! <sighs> well, uh, yeah, it works! <laughs> Actually worked! That is a really good item. Corruption is kind of weak, but it's a big upgrade from what I have. Alright, one, two, Uh. Ah, well, now Nazoth is satisfied. So the last thing you have to do is change your title from whatever you have to Servant of Nazoth. Where is it? Servant of Nazoth. And with his blessing, I shall open my box and I shall receive my best 
in slot item. What did we learn? Well, we learned that the boxes are complete RNG and you, there's nothing you can do to change it. What a surprise. I'm shocked. Good luck, guys. Next Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever. I'm gonna just jump off this. Uh,